What's going on, Rejuvenation? Johnny Bubbles, Mick Almighty, and Unbreakable Kicks. We got a special video for you guys. We are doing a closet tour, or as Unbreakable calls it, the vault. We in the vault, man. Yeah. There's a reason why I call this the vault. Not a lot of people get access to this room right here, so it's an honor for you guys to be here. No, man. we're on it, man. We appreciate it, man. Yeah. This place is sick, bro. Yeah, appreciate it. So appreciate much it. stuff that I haven't seen in person before. Hey, man. We gonna have a lot of wowzers up yeah, in here, excited. bro. For real, for real. We appreciate you making time for us. We know we hit you up kind of last minute. We made our trip out here to Chicago. Yep. Said, yo, can we see your vault? You said, come on through. Slide through, man. So tell us where you want to start. Man, I got everything in chronological order, so we can start over here with the retro one. Let's get right. it. So I know we're starting with the ones, bro, but before we get there, I have one question. Talk to me. What are these, man? These. I see this, it's, it, are those Seattle? <laughs> yeah, these are the Air Jordan 14 Dornbeckers, man, so. I know a lot of people are 50-50 on the DBs, especially with like the colorways and how they look, et cetera, man. But I'm a huge collector. So when it comes to the Dornbeckers, I got one through, I think they stopped at 15. Yeah. So we, we gonna see them all. But yeah, we got the Space Needle on the back, man. These joints are dope. I'm about to give you a full review right now, man. But this is definitely in my top three Air Jordan. They caught my attention. That purple, the back. Yeah, I just had to put them out real quick. Can we see those? Go ahead, check them out, bro. Check them out, man. Check them out. It's some material for me. These are now, sick. you know every DB has like a different story. I forget the exact story for these, man. But Go frogs, them joints is Sonics. them joints is dope, bro. These are sick, they man. dope. Oh, I'll let you get back to it, bro. Show us your yeah, Jordan. Your Destin colors fire. What do you got, man? When it comes to retro ones. To me, it's not, it don't even have to be retro ones. It's just sneakers in general. I'm OG over anything. So I got to make sure I got my OG. So we got the OG Shadows up there, the OG UNCs. Now, I know a lot of people like, you know, the newer UNCs that came out not too long ago, man. But nothing, nothing compares to the OGs. Nothing compared to the OGs. And the crazy thing about these is when these dropped in Chicago, these sat. These sat for about two weeks, man. This was like when Retro Ones was starting to get that hype, man, that Shattered Backboard era. These sat. Of course, we know the hype on these, man, but if y'all had to pick, which one y'all going with? OG going or the original? Yeah, yeah, I'm going with the OG as well. Now, you keep on saying OG. Yep. Do you have any OG, OG 85 ones? Man, bro, that's the goal. Now, before the Last Dance documentary, you can grab a pair of there OGs for like cheap. 100 bucks, 400 bucks, dead stock. Now they going anywhere two to three grand a pop, man. So Way more than that if you're unboxing all. And that's even that people are selling them. Now everybody wants to collect them now, you know, to have their original one through 14. It all depends set. on the colorway for sure. Like Facts. if you find a brand new pair of metallic Jordan 1s with boxing all, easy 15K or more, bro. Easy, bro. That last dance changed the sneaker community again, bro. Definitely do. 100%. Now I know you said OGs over everything. Yep. I'm a big fan of the satin. Okay. We gotta pull those satins. Grab them, bro. Yeah. Now tell me, where these where are these lie on your list? Um I I'm still a fan of the leather, bro. So All-Star Weekend, Cleveland, I was gonna bust those out, but I wind up busting out the leather pair. Uh they up there. But like I say, man, I'm OG over everything. When I get to put them on feet, these probably be like another anniversary or mm -hmm, like a special mm -hmm. birthday type of wear. But man, I try to get as many wears out of like my OGs, even like the joints with the X on the back, the band joints. The band like, from like 2000 and what? 11? 2011, yeah, man. Like I, I done put it. those, I done put those to the ground, man. And I would honestly rather put these on feet over those. For sure, bro. I used to have a pair of these. I was lucky enough to get them from the Nike factory because these were That's, these are big. Those B -grades. were B grades. Exactly. Only dropped at Nike factories, and Super a lot of cheap. people still kind of had that misconception as far as like a B grade, but dude, they were. This Freedom is a B grade, and it don't get any better than this B grade back right then here. Back then, we only had these and the DMP ones That's from it. the package, and those yep. DMP package ones were garbage, in garbage. my opinion. Yep, so you had, had, the, had the Jumpman on the back. And the details were on point. We had multiple laces. The tips also have, like, something on the yep, end. Yep, we got the right on it, yep. Let me get it out. People kind of forgotten about the band ones, man. They mm -hmm. re-released these a couple times now. Six this right is there. it, bro. This is the band one. The one that came out 2016, that's the bread. These are the band with that X yeah, on the, the back. X in the back. So how do you, you feel about the one the that's releasing the most recent one? The, Man, like so the Air Jordan 1 Rebellion Air, like, I, I have mixed feelings about it because to me it reminded me not of the OG Jordan 1 Jeter, but the second one, the Respect one. Mm -hmm. I know you're talking that about had like all the, all the 3M right. on yeah, it and yeah, I had yeah. the writing on it. So I wasn't a fan of that sneaker, but actually doing a review on the vault, I rocked with it because it was a leather sneaker. Now, the only thing is, 
they went with a shadow colorway. Right. And I'm like, why go with a shadow colorway? Mike never wore the shadows on court, to my knowledge. And why put the X on the back? They should have just gave us like another bread, you know, rendition. But they probably didn't do that because we just got the patent bread. So they're right. like, we can't do back-to-back bread. But colorways. I also heard they're going to bring back the Chicago's this year. Too, so. Man, I just got off the phone, you know, talking about those. And don't expect this. This is what I'm going to say. Don't expect this. Expect something different, especially with the whole reimagine. That's what they're going with. And I love to do the air quotes because it's supposed to have like a vintage look. Right. So the outsole is probably going to be a little bit yellow. The anchor collar is probably going to have like that 1985 crack material. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, so it's right. the vi vintage is in. So expect like a different texture of the leather. It's not going to be like this. As much as I want it to be like this, it's not gonna be this. Two things I'm hoping for on that reimagine pair is a slimmer toe box. That's yep. one thing they promised. They said they're working on it. You know, so a nice clean toe box yep. and the back, a nice straighter, just like the 85. See, I've ne I've held the 85 in hand, but it's like when I look at a shoe, I don't look at it to be like, okay, man, is this shape right. just like the 85? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. once you see them in hand and you can actually compare them together, that's when I feel like the difference is. But just looking at it. I, I can't tell the difference. You I'm know? an 85 nerd, so I can tell right away Word. that this thing's like super inside. On the 85s, always go straight up. Okay. That's one thing I'm hoping for. I hope they don't crack the collars on those reimagined pairs. I think pairs. they will, bro. You know, I keep it original. Let that happen on its own. But I for sure see it having a cream outsole, mm -hmm. cream tongues, cream laces. Yep. Hoping for a nice leather, but like you said, we'll see what happens. We'll see, man. It's Jordan brand. You gotta remember that. I'm surprised you said you hope it doesn't come with the cracked like. Outs on the top. Like I feel like you would like that. They're going to do it wrong. Yeah, gonna do it I, it's not going to be right. Yeah. Well, whatever it is, they're I feel like the colorway is going to be okay, but just we're going to have some reasons why we don't like the shoe, whether it's right. what they deal with the, the midsole or what they deal with the ankle collar system. There's going to be some people that's going to complain because it's not going to look I just like this. I feel like, like that's this. always the case. But it Vincent is. in, like you said. It is. Real quick, Miguel Street behind the lens. He's got the coffee custom Ooh. Jordan 1 Lowe's to I give see that vintage look. So, yes, vintage is in. Not those kind of give me. Those kind of give me. Where they at? Put these back. These. On. Those. Uh, what's it Nigel called? Nigel Sylvester. There we go. What, what you got on feet, bro? It kind of give me like Nigel Sylvester vibes, bro. Give me one of these. Nah, not yet, bro. So my question to you, bro, and one thing I like about the sands is that they're brand new. Yeah. When those shoes get worn, the creasing gets kind of weird. Do you ever wear your shoes in here? I do, man. And the thing is. Being a part of the Army, and I, I got to speak up for the Army, and the Army know how your boy get down, because when we live and they like, break, are you going to rock these? Most of these are worn. Like, I'm not going to go ahead and put on a $15,000 pair of shoes to go to Walmart, but I will to, like, a sneaker event. I wore these to Sneaker Con last year. Um, me and my wife celebrated our five-year wedding anniversary in Miami, put these on feet. So when it comes to, like, my expensive pieces, these will always go on feet before like a regular GR. I'll wear a regular GR to like a birthday party or something like that. But, you know, it has to be something special for me to put these on feet. For sure. I respect that. Usually with a lot of people, it'd be the opposite. Yeah. You want to wear the GR stuff over the PEs. These got to be on feet, man, because when you at an event, a sneaker event, a lot of people not going to have these type of, you know, sneakers on feet. So, of course, you want to stand out. Well, man, let's talk about your PEs now. Let's get it. Basically, what do you have here, bro? Man, to be honest, I can say, man, look, this is the Air Jordan UNCs, this is the Air Jordan Floridas, the Marquettes, but this is five years of hard work. And I'm going to just be straight up honest with y'all. I remember talking to my brothers over there at English Souls because those were the first guys that I seen with PEs. And this Air Jordan 3 pit crew was the first PE because I love the Black Cement 3 that just really stood out to me. And we did a video years ago, and I'm just like, man, one day, I'm going to own a PE. And now I got half a million worth right here in front of me, man. Basically so, the whole collection again, almost. This is, this is hard work. As far as the UNC to Michigan, the collegiates is, I want to say, 22 pairs. You got the UNC, you have Florida, you have Marquette, you have Georgetown, you have Oklahoma, and you have Michigan. You got ones, the threes, the fours, the fives, the sixes are new. But as far as one, three, four, and five, I have 21 out of 22. 22 is on its way, and that's the Air Jordan 4 Georgetown. That's the last one to complete that set. And to briefly pause the video right there, of course, Army, y'all know, the joints was added to the vault. So, yes, I do now currently have 
the Air Jordan for Georgetown. That's it right there. I don't know anybody else with the set but myself. That's freaking Maybe sick, Perfect bro. Pair. He, I'm sure he probably has it as well, but well, other than that, video. you know, That's I'm insane. the only one. That's insane. So it started with the Pit Cruise. That was like the first PE that you That was the got. first one that I've ever wanted. The first PE that I ever got was the Air Jordan 13 Low Marquettes. My first ever sneaker con I went to was my first pickup right here. You really? want to say I paid like 4200 about 4200 at that time, man. And the 13 lows are almost non-existent now, bro. I'm, I'm on the hunt for the 13, the rest of the 13 lows and the two lows. These are nice. Now, you say you don't know anyone else with the full collection. I don't. Would you say you have the best sneaker collection when it comes to influencers on YouTube? Humbly speaking, yes. Humbly speaking. I love um, it. I love it. Humbly speaking, yes. And the reason why is because I went from just trying to get every GR yep. to getting that and trying to find a new, you know, a new passion, a new chase. It's to the point now where if you don't have a reservation system or if you don't have an app, yeah. you can't get a GR now. These, on the other hand, you have to know people in order to get these. It's right. a small community of people that collect the PEs or buy the PEs. And for the most part, I know majority of them. And um, it's just, it's that chase. Because these are easy to get now, you yeah. know. It was the Air Jordan 12 playoffs drop, man. You could have got these 45 minutes after they dropped on Sneakers app. So as far as most GRs, you can get them if you put in the feet work or the footwork, whatever you want to say. But these right here, you got to know somebody to get them. Somebody trustworthy too, man, because this, is, this isn't light money. This is expensive you stuff. Don't, you don't just buy these. I don't just go and buy these off, you know, offline. I let my boys know exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah. They send me a list. Hey, man, let's get it. It's a small community, like you mentioned, man. There's yep. a few sellers that sell this kind of stuff. You mentioned English Souls. I follow English them on Instagram. Souls, Hella Sneaker cool Sluts. Stuff. Yep. Um, my boy Chow, um, Selection in, in Las Vegas. You know, those guys have been doing it. They sell to, like, Khaled. They sell to yeah. other celebrities. They have man. reputations. So they have their reputation as well. And, and they're not going to put their reputations on the line and, and try to, you know, get over on a sneaker YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? So... They got a, they got a lot of a lot of credibility to hold up. Now, out of all these, what's your favorite? If you had to sell all of them but keep one pair, what stays? It will have to be the pit crews. Pickers. Is pit crews are not the most expensive. If it had to be one that was the most expensive, it would probably be either the Marquette ones or the Marquette five. Simply because Marquette in Georgetown is only forty of these made. I've never even seen those. Is bro. that Stingray? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we got Stingray on it. All the fives, all the fives have uh, Stingray on them. Fives and the ones have Stingray on them. Stingray's beautiful. All of the fives and the ones have Stingray on them. What I like about the fives is the Stingray is the elephant print, yep. right? That's detail. So out of all of these, yep. which one was the hardest to get? The two you are holding in your hands right now, bro. These were the last two pickups. And um, reason being, again, it was only 40 pairs of the ones made, only 40 pairs of the fives made. Now, the crazy thing is, every PE in here, every sneaker in here is my personal size. So that's what makes the chase that much, you know, that much more challenging because, you know, you may have some collectors who just get the size just to be like, okay, I, I have them, but all of these are my personal pairs, and I do plan on wearing each and every one of them. Like, my size range is expensive because you don't have a lot of athletes that's in that 10 and a half, right, 11 right. range. Like, size 13 and 14. Like, for instance, these, the Marquettes, I said on camera, yo, the Marquettes was 10,000. 10,000 for the Marquettes. But if you find, like, a size 13, 14, you probably be paying maybe, like, 65, maybe 85, you know, tops yeah. because you're going to have more pairs, but... That size 11, it's, it's tough, man. Now, 10000 is a lot of money for me, right? Is there a cap to you that you say, I won't spend more than X amount of dollars on a pair of shoes? Or Look, y'all. does your wife just I, give I you try, free reign? Man, my wife know what time it is now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it used to be a point where I'd be like, you know, a little hesitant to be like, man, look, I paid two bands for these. Right. Now, we passed that. The Nipsey Hustle Air Jordan 3 Black Cements. I got a call about them, 100% legit, same guys who I deal with now, $14,000 shoe. Oh my goodness, bro. Now, the good thing about some of this stuff, man, it, don't, it doesn't always have to just come out of pocket, man. Like, let's right. say, for instance, if I'm just like, you know what, bro, half this wall can go. You know, yep. so I, I will sell half of this wall. Yep. You've done it before? You know, and I've done, I've done this a trade where I traded 86 pairs of shoes for three PEs. Nice. 
So, you know, sometimes you already have that money burnt. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to go in the bank and, you know, take out some more. I always say, if you want to get into PEs and you got a collection already, get rid of the stuff that you're not going to wear. Like my boys over there, English Souls and my man Sneaker Sluts, always told me like, bro, you you at a whole nother level now. Those Air Jordan 13 Obsidian Blues, you probably not going to wear them. So right. you might as well go ahead and put those towards, you know, one of these PEs. And for the most part, that's what I do. I did it with this pack right here. You know, the Kobe We'll pack. get to that. We'll we, get to we that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> I got one more question. Talk to me. What year did these come out or make them? I want to say these were Holiday 19. The ones were Holiday 19. Yep, it was because then 2020 was the year of the uh, the fives, I believe. What's really cool about these is the material. It's the same material as the Amamanera ones yep. or in the threes. It's just the ones, right? It's just the ones. Just the ones. Mm-hmm. So you, it's they, this weird material right here. And it's a material that I feel like we're going to have on old Chicago's, bro. Like that I crackle, Let's like hold that crackle yeah. material. I'm telling y'all, it's not going to be what we want, man. It's not. Well, that's cool, though. They've used that material in the past yep. two years ago before they actually put it on this shoe. Yep. I like that. So now we got the Retro 6s. The UCLA, that's, that's the first one to get um, a PE now. So I'm looking to grab, start grabbing the sixes now. Let me look at these real quick, bro. I like the holographic yeah. material on Those this Those are the sevens. These are the uh, Oregon sevens, and this went specifically for the um, women's basketball. So I've never actually pairs. seen these. You mind if I pull these ones Those out as well? Those are the uh, men. You got the men exclusive. You got the women's exclusive. It's in the same with the sixes as well. Man, I'm going to start pulling stuff out. So yeah. the guys- <laughs> Go ahead. These are the track and field. So it's three of these. You got the track and field. You got the football pair. Now, the basketball pair is like a diamond in the rough. And to me, the basketball pair is the best pair. But the basketball pair may be limited to like 40 pairs as well. And I'm on a hunt for those. Last time I seen a basketball pair was probably like 10,000. These are sick. And I didn't pull the trigger because it wasn't my size. And these come with a dust bag, too. Those come with the dust bag. The track and field pair is probably one of the best ones. And these are the new eights that just dropped as well. These are the new eights that just dropped. I want to say these dropped in like December. These are sick. The duck embossed uh, suede. This is sick. Yeah, no, nah, those are dope, bro. I like the green pair better, the track and field. Yeah. And I've then we got before. the, um, this is the women's exclusive six. You got the O on the side. Ooh, these are sick. And of course, y'all know we got the, what, what was it, the electric orange? I mean, elect, not elect, what, electric, electric green? green? Electric green. Electric green sixes. And it basically pay homage to these right here, material. but See how much different, different bro. Oh Completely different. Now, I'm not going to lie and say, like, the PEs have, like, the best quality and, like, these are just, you know, hands down way better than some of the GR pairs. To be honest, most of them have just the regular material that we would get on a GR, but it's just how limited it is, man. Like, I want my collection right. to stand out. Man, it's the cool details on these too, bro. Like, you mentioned the Oregon, yep. the holes on the shoe. Like you got Jordan the rings Brand- on the back. Jordan Brand needs to make more of that stuff on regular Jordan 6s. Same thing with these, the they material they use. Well, I mean, they already increasing the price as it is, man. But, you know, you're really going to be paying a ticket, man. Really going to be paying a ticket at that point. Now, we skipped a little bit ahead onto that side. I've never even seen these. Go ahead, Victor. That was my out. boy Flight, Flight Academy Kicks. He okay. loved the, the Oklahoma. Oklahoma. The Oklahoma set, yeah, man. Which isn't as um, exclusive as, you know, the Marquette and Georgetown. Again, Marquette and Georgetown, most of those are limited to like 40 pairs. Some of these are limited to maybe like 120. Some may have 400 pairs. This colorway reminds but, me of this yep, too. 100%, bro. 100%. I've said that in the video as well. Yeah. 100%. Notice it right the away. Track reds. Those were a Europe exclusive from the best hands in the game pack. Yeah, these are these are nice. Now, a lot of these PEs, I'm not even sure. They probably come in like sample boxes. Do you ever keep the boxes uh, they come in? All my boxes. I keep all my boxes. Just in case, man, it could be a it could be a point when I'm just like, you know what? The you know, the roll was good. I had fun, you yep. know. Just, you know, time to get rid of everything, man. That way the person who's gonna be able to have this dope collection, man. At least they'd be able to have their boxes with. Where you do know, you put your boxes? Like J Collector. Oh yeah, all the all the boxes in storage. There's uh my boy J Collector puts all his boxes literally in his Why kitchen cabinet. Why do I know cabinets. J Collector, bro? He's out here in Chicago too. He has I'm a about, store. I'm about to say that name. Oh yeah, Anthony J Collector. Yeah, I'm about to say yeah. He uh out in Schaumburg. There you go. Yeah, he has a whole apartment, bro, full of shoes as well. Yeah, no, nah, that that dude level was he he's on his, a whole nother level, bro. He has his bro. boxes planned in kitchen cabinets. Bro. Crazy, crazy thing, me and Anthony um <laughs> I did a TV show called the collector's call and anthony was my special guest and 
this was like 2019. They came in the vault. Anthony was right here, man. He was like appraising some of my sneakers. Yeah, so, he's cool people. Yeah, Anthony is really good people, man. You said sneaker boxes in cabinets? Say it again. Victor? What? You said he had sneaker boxes in cabinets? Literally, bro, under his bed. Like, he had no room. Bro, he, bro, stuff. like, <laughs> maybe like six pairs of Red Octobers. That's ridiculous. Like, multiples of, yeah. of everything, bro. Yeah. He, he killing it on the, on hey, the, on we the collector have to side. Check out his collection. Yeah, bro. I think Victor already did. It's we, a nice collection. Go to the store. It's a nice collection. I think it's called Restock Chicago. Restock Chicago. Yep. That's right. These are the Georgetowns, again. Bro, the details are these, man. And Georgetown and Marquette. Are the most limited, man. The threes on the George Towns were fire too. What material do you call this? This is. I don't think that's like, ostrich, is it? That's I don't think that's ostrich. ostrich. Bro. It's I like a suede. Which one it is, bro. It's like a croc suede. It's got to be a specific croc. Term for it. It's croc. It's, it's croc. croc. Yep. Yeah, croc. This material that they use on um, croc and uh, ostrich on uh, not not excuse me, croc and um, stingray. Stingray. Yep, What's stingray this white material ones. called, though? There's got to be a name. I, I don't know, bro. I just call it like the ashy crackle lip material, bro. Like, <laughs> like on the on the toe fours, on the toe fours, kind of have that material too on the my ashy ones. Crackled ashy crackle lip. Ashy crackle lip. From material, now on, bro. anytime I see that material, I am ashy referencing break. Ashy crackle break. lip material, bro. That's hilarious. All right, that's. Enough, enough with the P's. Enough with the P's, man. We got like two more walls to go. Yeah, bro. What yeah. we got over here? Oh, we whoa, whoa, we just skipped way ahead, bro. We still got some heat over here. I'm, 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 I'm gonna let y'all, man. By all I, means, I, I've, man. I've only seen this collection at Perfect Pairs. When I walked in earlier, I was like, "There's no way." Dior's are a must, bro. So I actually like the lows better, bro. Why don't you have a pair of lows then? You know what? Whoa, what I just ain't pulled the trigger it? on them, bro. I seen a pair for sixty-five, man. Yeah, fighting words. Yeah, sixty-five. You know, I, you I, just, Johnny. I just ain't, <laughs> ain't pulled the trigger on them. I it was you, uh, it was other pieces that you know ahead of the uh, Dior lows. They definitely gonna be in a vault. Though. I did come in pretty hot. Like, why don't you have a pair? Of <laughs> yeah, he came in hot. Yeah, hey, you have all this stuff <laughs> you just right, right. Hey, what's up with the lows, yo? <laughs> you hate on the lows now, bro? <laughs> man, those are beautiful, bro. Hold up. That's the mirror you pair. Grab yeah, them, man. And I, I want to say I just got these maybe a few months ago. This was another one of those. Why not just get the entire set? I literally bought this entire set at one time. One more, if you don't mind. What was the ticket? Uh, for the entire set, man. My man, English Souls, they threw me a lot, bro. I want to say for the entire set, maybe like thirty. These are beautiful. Thirty like k. All of these. Like thirty k for the entire set. These need to be touched up, bro. Let me know. Yeah, I, man, I, I got a couple of them, bro. I, them already see. And another thing about me, bro, is like, I don't always just take pictures on the gram. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, I may rock something and y'all may not see me in it, but plus I got two pairs of those, too. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, got, I, got dead, I got a dead stock pair of bro, those. Bro, you as well, said man. 30 bands plus I got another pair of those. I got, those, I got a dead stock pair of those. That's more than my yearly salary, well. bro. Yeah, God right. Damn, man. $30,000 for a pair of five shoes. <laughs> I couldn't even eat no more, bro. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna but have this, a this sign. This is my favorite pair, though, shoes. man. Out of those, I know a lot of people like the glitters, bro. But I like this pair personally. No, you like the three M joints. Yep. Yeah, I, I do like the glitter joints for sure. This, so I'm, I like flashiness. So, like okay. all black outfit, throw those, those joints on. on feet, double click. Facts, bro. They, they do kind of, they do kind of look got like a little Dorothy vibe to them, bro. Yeah, these are hot. But yeah, bro. Them, them sick, bro. And a lot of people they probably won't rock with them because they don't have the Nike Air on the tongue. It's all you know good. what I'm saying? But you said this These is are them joints are legends of the summer, man. Like if y'all know about that tour, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, they I'm do a, have the retro tools, and, and Vic, I know you did the Jordan you did the Jordan threes, man. So to get quality shoe overall, man, bro, I, the whole pack. The thing is, it's a lot of these sneakers that I do want, but it's just hard to find them, you especially know? in your size. Like especially you're looking. If it's not in my size, I'm not gonna buy them. What size are you again? Ten and a half. Ten and a half, eleven. Yeah, see those pair I did for the perfect pair. Yeah. His is the only size ten and a half in existence, I believe. Out of this whole wall, what's your favorite, bro? Another new pickup that's not in the video is the Air Jordan two. I'm on my years. Joints clean. Make sure y'all add these to the collection. It goes well with the ones and the threes. Whoo, man. The Chicago and me want to go Virgil. With the off white twos. That's that, but that's just the Chicago and me, man. I, I like I like stuff that we probably will never see ever again. And you know, we got like things like the Air Jordan 3 do the right thing. They need to bring those back. They do, bro. They need but to but even if they do, it won't be right, man. Some, it's something about 2005, 2006, 2007, Jordan's being retro. Was that an LS? This was, this was an LS. And the thing is like, even with the cool grays, this is not the same gray as the OG. Not at all. 
at all. I still had an OG. I think the OG is in my bedroom. But they always change the shade of color. So if they were to give us these again, I don't think the blue would be the same color. Got it. So it's just like, if y'all not going to do it right, just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? But you got some people who don't care. You got some people who just, you know, became a sneakerhead in 2020. They don't care about the older pair. You know what I'm saying? So I still get the new stuff. But I still keep the old stuff, bro, because the old stuff is just... The old stuff's it where it's at. The you thing is, you can't even wear some of this stuff. Like, the paint will crumble for yeah, sure. Yeah, one, one wear is over with. It's you know on. what I'm saying? So, it's a cool they, piece they to have, have, though. have been worn, so... At least I got a few wears out of them joints, bro. But it's it, it'll be over with if I was so you're telling me these are not wearable? Probably not. I mean, we got Mr. Vic Almighty right here. He already know what's happening. There's only so much I can do, man. (laughs) (laughs) One wear is over with, you know? Now, now you guys said something that I'm not really familiar with. Talk to us. What's an LS? What's that? What what, what was it? Limited series? I don't know that. Was it Lifestyle? Lifestyle. Like Sam, please cut that out, because he's right. <laughs> nah, we can't cut that. We keep it raw and uncut. If I'm going to come out here and say, I don't know what Alex means, he has to lifestyle. stay out here it is giving lifestyle. us the wrong info. But but on top of that, we have multiple lifestyles, though. I know I'm jumping, but like even like the Air Jordan 5 Burgundy, yep. these were a lifestyle. Was Cool Grade 3's lifestyle, too? Cool Grade's were, yes. Yeah, there's a couple yes, more as were, well. There were um, the Air Jordan 5 um, Black Carolina. There those we go. Are, those I recently sold those. Why did they stop that whole little series? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. But in today's age, people probably don't care no way. You know what I'm saying, yep. man? I, I, I like the the just what Jordan Brand used to do, man. And again, if you're a collector from the day and you see how it is today, man, like those do the right things are probably like 120 retail. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Nice, nice quality shoe. Now we're getting here retail 200 bucks. Mm-hmm. And I've seen some terrible UNC 6s. I've seen some terrible playoff 12s recently, man. So it's just like one thing I love is that I was there when we was getting nice stuff, man. So I can actually appreciate the older stuff more than the stuff that we get now. 100%, bro. Nice. Now, right below that, we have probably my favorite twos. And I can say that maybe because I'm hype a little bit, but the Just Dons. You cannot go wrong. With I just this. put those on feet All-Star Weekend uh, in Cleveland, man. Those are beautiful. Bro. I got a story, man, about Let me hear. Let me Bro. Hear. So, look. I got the OGs right here, blue pair. Yep. This is the beach pair, the Arctic Orange. Yep. Those dropped in Chicago, man. And I had a um, good buddy of mine. He brought over the Arctic Orange in a 10 and a half. He was like, break. I don't really want them. You know, about 600 bucks. I'm like, 600 bucks for some tools? I mean, retail on these was like 500, but you know it came with like the, it came with the hat, the The pins and all that good stuff, bro. These just came with the pin. I want to say retail was like 3, 350 for those. So I'm just like, man. And then the crazy thing is like an hour after he left, they shot drop on Just Down website. I was able to score a 10 and a half, but he literally canceled all of those orders. They were only supposed to be friends and family for the Arctic Orange. I have never seen another, seen another pair. pair. You could have got and a pair for 600 600 bucks. I could have had the complete set. And that's why I say, when it comes to certain shoes, I don't pass up because I never know when I'm going to see them again. Right. Still to this day, well, regret we, we, not we grabbing got, uh, those. I think we got, what's the peach one? Is that the, that's the Arctic Orange you're yeah. talking about? We got a small kid size that many That's ones. all I can see, bro. Yeah, that's that's, that's like all I found wide. is the small. That's yeah, it, bro. I, I can bring you that that's one. It. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, man. I cannot find any men pairs in those. I think I think Don C got them all sitting up in his uh, collection somewhere. It's rotting away. Man, man to, bro. Before we get to the Forest Army, just want to show y'all the Interscope 3s. Got these from my man Sneaker Sluts. Basically the Black Cement 3s. But, of course, had, like, that Interscope record on those. And my man Sneaker Sluts was able to help me get the Interscope 4s as well. Again, the 3s and the 4s is basically the black cement and the white cements from 2016 and 2018. And they just put the Interscope on it. So, quality is all the same. Ain't nothing different, but it's still something special. All right, Kobe stuff, bro. You mentioned you needed the black pair, but the white pair is sick, too. Man, bro. It's, it's a This is a phenomenal story right here. And both of these have been worn by you yes okay i bought these dead stock man i bought these before kobe passed um 2019 again shout out to my man sneaker sluts man shout out to my boy scotty skinner gave me a deal of a lifetime and that's why i always say man when it comes to sneakers man networking is the key networking is the key man he he knew that he had my size he hit me up I don't even want to tell y'all the price because it was for such a steal, bro. I paid $6,000 cash, $6,000 in trades. 
So I walked away basically out of pocket six thousand dollars because the other six k was already you know burnt up in other shoes, bro. I know you just go for way more than way that. more. But when uh, when Kobe passed, I got a phone call. I don't want to I don't want to put his name out there because he told me not to. He told Drake, don't ever tell. I called you about this. But Drake called one of my guys and was looking for this size right here. You mean Kobe? In huh? No, Drake. He oh, said Drake. Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake, Drake called. Drake, 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 Drake called. Drake called one of my mans because my mans put out that I had this because Drake was looking for the Kobe pack. He let my mans knew it. Drake won about a pair, 40k. I turned it down. I'm like, unless Drake come in here, buys it himself, sign all of these, they forever stand. Mm -hmm. Forever stand. I wore these for my 30th birthday. Then I wore these to 2J's grand opening in uh, Las Vegas. That's what's up. Hell yeah. Put them on feet, man. I guess either Drake probably found another pair. I'm sure or he, he did. didn't want them that bad. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure but he did. But I probably, love the deal. I'm sure I he, love the I'm deal. I'm sure he did, man. But the fact that, you know, these could have been in Drake's crib, but Drake would have had to walk out of this crib with mm -hmm. them in hand. That would have been insane I to get some autographs. Pitches. I needed some autographs, and he could have had them, bro. A YouTube video, go live. Something, man. Yeah. <laughs> Give me an OVO chain or something, bro. Let me let me know it's for life. I love that energy. I'm on that same wavelength. Well, Whose are these? It's the number five. These guys. Trophy room. Friends and families. Trophy room. There you go. Friends and families, man. I even see the logo on the back. Yeah, these beautiful pair, man. Uh, I know Marcus Marcus Jordan was gifting these to, I know Jumpman Bossy got a pair, I know Casita got a pair. Ah, I, I have to pay, you know, the resale for mine, man. Yeah, you but don't sound salty is, at all. Isn't that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't sound salty well, at all. We'll carry man. salt in the crib because yeah. all the salt stay up <laughs> yeah. in this room right here, man. I respect but, it. But this is a beautiful pair, bro. Very, very beautiful pair, man. Not sure how many of these I left on the market, but again, when I was able to get my size, I got to snag them. The quality butter. and the detail. And a lot of people slept on this one right here. And the reason why they slept on these, the 16s ain't do what a lot of people thought that they were going to do. 17s ain't do what a lot of people thought they were going to do. The 23s didn't as well. So when he put out the five, Muggs was just like, uh, you know, they're going to do the same thing that the other ones did. Caught a lot of people off guard with these right here, man. And shout out to my trophy room family, man, because I was able to get those for retail. And I was able to get those for retail, man. And again, it's all about who you know. Right. And it's all was, about who you there know. There was drama behind the ones. If you remember yeah. the whole backdooring thing that happened yeah. with the ones. Yeah. It, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of drama, man. But, uh, you know, they, they got me right. And I appreciate them for that. All right. So we talked about this top stuff. Yeah. Now it's time for Johnny to step out for a little bit so we could talk about the OVO stuff. Yeah, right, you know? bro. You're not going to do me like that. As a matter of fact, we're going to switch sides. All right. And it's going right. to be me and Unbreakable talking about OVO because you already know. You already know where I'm man, at. Man, look. You already know where I'm Drake, at. Drake is definitely my favorite artist, man. And, um, I know you like Drake as well, bro. Only thing is, man, too don't, much. don't, don't, don't drool too much on the butt. They are, you know, sprayed with rejuvenated water and stay that, repellent. That's right, so, that's you right. know, I you hear won't it. damage them. So, yeah, we so good. Make sure you use promo code. It is in the description below to save 10% off for shooting. Save that bread, man. So, let's go ahead and open these up, bro. I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to go ahead and grab away. Okay. So, let's talk about these real quick. Whew. Drake versus Wayne. Man. Look at these, Victor. These are beautiful, bro. Drake versus Lil Wayne. Another one of those extremely hard gems to find. Um, that white pair is a unicorn. White pair is a unicorn. But when most people see this shoe, they they, they just like, what, man? This is an all black That's a pair of Air Jordan 3s, man. So even when I did like my sneaker review on the shoes, it was just like break. It's an all black pair of retro 3s, but y'all don't understand mm -hmm. the magnitude. Like the black pair is okay. To me, the white pair is just... Hands That's down, the unicorn. Yep. Hands down, the unicorn. Do you remember when these shot dropped? I remember when they dropped them, but is this like the actual, like... This, this is the joint with the Drake signature. The Drake. So after the Raptors won a championship, that next morning, they these had shot drop on sneakers because they had the original joints that just had like the, the leather yep. tongue. Yep. And when Drake was about to sign with Adidas, for the most part, they said they scrapped these. And when we got that random drop... Bro, like, I remember my phone going crazy. Like, bro, they just dropped the the Drake three. Uh, the they just dropped the Drake fours on sneakers app. I'm like, man, yeah, I got the got them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I, I ain't missing that. I got the got them, man. I got the got them now. Now these right here. This this these. probably is the most expensive these. pair that I've paid just straight. Again, shout out to my man Sneaker Sluts. Um, 12k. 
12 12k. 12k. And the crazy thing is, after I got those, I want to say maybe a few months later, I text them and showed them that these were going, and this was maybe like a year or two ago. They were going 16k. I text them like, hey, bro, thanks. You know, and that's the thing when it comes to a lot of these sneakers. Some people look at them like, yeah, wear them, wear them, wear them. Right. Some people look at them as investments as well. Bought these for 12k. Less than a year later, they was going for 16k. And that's on the low end. I want to say some places, you know, like Stadium Goods may have a pair of like 23K. You know what I'm saying? So these go up. And the thing is, I heard that there's different variations of this shoe as well. Really? Yeah, it's What's a couple the different. On it? I want to say either my man's um, um, English Souls, some, somebody that I know had like two different variations. It could have been my boy, uh, Child from Selection as well. I don't remember, because I remember them having them back to back. But I don't remember the exact differences in it. It could have been like the the, the material on it. it. It could have been something, but it is different variations of this sneaker right yeah, here. Yeah, I love this shoe. Now, one thing is Vic and I's favorite Jordan are the Brett Force. Oh, word? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, this shoe right here, Vic needs to do a custom for me. I'm just, I've thrown that out there a few times. Buy he said, the, buy the shoe. Buy the shoe, man. You know? But I wish on the OVO shoes they did a little more OVO action yeah, to it. Like, same. you know, it's kind of hidden. All on his the back. stuff is hidden. It's either yeah. like behind the tongue or, you know, it's on the insole right. of the shoe, under the insole. It, it doesn't scream OVO. OVO right. Now, That's my only thing. Do you know the inspiration behind this shoe? This was a sample. This was a sample That's, from 1989. That's what I was going to get at. There is, a, But it wasn't a sample, though. I think it was just a custom. There is Really? A, we don't know 100%. There okay. Is, we found the owner that has the sneakers because they originally wore in a picture mm -hmm. in a box I think it was a box full of random stuff and in that picture you see the 89 Jordan 4 with the paint splatter yep. Got it. the person found the shoe there's an owner I forgot the name of the person I think we turned. I think they turned out to be custom, but I'm not 100 percent sure if they're samples. Or I thought customs. I thought that they were samples, I and I also wrong. thought that these samples. were supposed to retail as well. Yeah, these joints were supposed to retail, but they never did. Well, hopefully they do. Because that is a fire <laughs> shoe. I need that. Well, hopefully one day you're just like, hey, I'm out the game. I know the next uh, Drake fan nearest to me. And, and you uh, say we're about the same size, too, man. You're saying so that, not that, about that the same size. We are, we are the, the same, same size, size, so okay? that'll work, man. That'll uh, work. Moving on to here. Go ahead, Victor. I like the black pair, bro. Yeah, the black pair. Now, that black pair is different than the pair that the black pair that came with these. Yeah, these have... Um... So we got the Calipari pack. And my man Sneaker Sluts was just like, bro, like, you got the University of Kentucky. Like, you don't even need the Calipari. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he had both of them, but he's like, bro, to save you some bread, just go with the, the more limited, the University of Kentucky. So the other Kentucky pair that pair. comes with that, is it leather? Is it black leather? No, no, it's it... still suede. Yeah. Um, but it does, it has a 23 it. right here. And I want to say it's maybe a couple, like, one or two more subtle changes. And, of course, we know this one has a Kentucky... Behind the tongue as well. These joints are fire, bro. I think the ones that Perfect Pattern have were the other black version. I don't think he had this version. Well, let me get a photo of that one because I got a picture with the black ones <laughs> in hand. Bow. Nah, them joints are sexy, bro. Jeez. These are sick, bro. I recently, this is one of the most recent OVOs that I wore. I wore these to uh, Sneaker Con Atlanta last year. The Charles Oakley Toronto Raptor color. I love the tags on the back. Now, how many people actually realize what you're wearing on feet when you go? Some to do, bro. Con? Some do. And you know, like even when I do like my reviews, like even for the splatters, they were just like, "Bray, you know them." They basically some black cement fours, but they're not. It's yeah. the subtle. It's the it's the subtle things about it. Now, one thing is that I wish I did have an Eminem. Uh, selection in here. I, I passed up on the Eminem twos a couple years ago, and, and I don't know why I did it, and I've never seen them again. Mm -hmm. It's like every PE that I pass up on, I haven't seen it again, man. So, and Eminem got some fire. Like we seen them Super Bowl joints, man. Now these down here, now Johnny, bro, I'm I'm, I'm about to test your OVO knowledge, bro. You're gonna embarrass me. What I'm about to do? test your OVO knowledge. Okay, before these dropped, where could you get these at? I'm talking about the tens. And I'm talking about the twelves. Where where was one of the only spots that you can grab these from? I'm gonna say OVO store, Toronto. Stadium Goods and Flight. It probably wasn't even Stadium Goods. Flight Club. I remember in college, bro. All they had was the samples. Yeah. And the only way you can get the samples was was from Flight Club. That was the only place that I knew at the time. Unless of course you was in like Drake Camp or right. something of that nature. But Flight Club was the only place that was having these man. And when they finally did a regular release of these. Bro, I was happy because in college I couldn't afford a, a two, three thousand dollar pair, you know, right, pair right. of sneakers, man. So 
All of my OVOs, the general releases, I got them all for retail. That's dope. Because remember the eights, they yeah. did the raffle for the eights. These dropped on the sneakers app. The black um black tens dropped at um the Jordan store downtown when that was still uh rocking. The Bo Twelves did as well, man. So to be able to get one of my favorite artist shoes for retail, I yeah, mean, I couldn't, I, I I couldn't don't complain. even own an OVO sneaker. Word? I'm going to be honest with you. So like, Is it that you don't like them or nah, are they hard so to get? I, like, so I had the Tans at one point, and he's probably still on my Instagram account when I had them. I'm uh -huh. just not a fan of Tans. Okay. But whenever I had a bunch of shoes coming to financial stuff, you got to sell it. They got to move, know? yeah. And I just never went back to go and like collect sneakers like that you know what i mean like i like i told you i got three kids yeah and a wife you know yep. like and then i have ten thousand other hobbies i'm into rc car racing like hot wheels and all these other I things i told you my like, other hobby man we yeah. all got up in here yeah man. you gotta like, catch these, them all Pokemon these, bro, cards. man these, these, <laughs> hot, bro, these hobbies are expensive yeah so that's but, the only reason why i haven't went and like to go cop right because i think like ovo 12s are probably like my favorite from the pack this was my this was my favorite sneaker bro for about man give or take a couple years man this OVO 12 was just so clean, and I know my boy Snipe, he was telling me the other day how he liked the black pair better. Yeah. But this white, was, white just, so was just so crispy, yeah. bro. Again, being on yeah, Flight Club, bro, and seeing this shoe up there for $5,000, you know, before they actually did the general release pairs, man, it was just like... How can I get these? You know, man, like you my journey is crazy. Nah, not yet, bro. But the thing is, 12s hurt my feet like a mug, bro. I got a wide foot. Yeah. 12s hurt, man. Like, I know I'm gonna be walking, walking on my heels yeah. in them joints, bro. And I ain't trying to be out here looking like that, man. But these sneakers like this, man, yeah, this is this was like my love, bro. Again, my man Sneaker Slut. Shout out to him, man. Um, that bone colorway, can't find it. Cannot find it in my size. I want to say 2J's grand opening in New York when he had opened up his New York, uh, his, pop -up. his New York spot. Yeah. Man, he flew me out there. He had my size in a bone colorway, bro. You're sick, bro. He had my size in a bone colorway. And what happened? You just didn't pull the trigger on it? Hey, man, that was like a $20,000 yeah. shoe, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That was like a twenty thousand dollar shoe. Oh, that's cute. What else we got though. down there? You getting those Drake uh, Air Force Ones? I gotta get them, bro. I just got the um, the uh, high step. I got the all white pair. I'm yep. looking for the black pair as well. Eleven, eleven and a half. Okay, I need to go up a size in them. Them Nikes. You know what I'm saying? So eleven, eleven and a half. If somebody got the black pair, your boy definitely looking for them. Got a couple more OVOs down there. Yeah. Now I want to talk about this shoe right here, bro. Right quick, man. OVO 14s. Love them. Worn these to sneaker con as well. Beautiful shoe. Go I've mob to my frat. Go mob to the uh, Phi Beta Sigmas out there, man. This colorway is absolutely beautiful, bro. It's one of the cleanest colorways on a Jordan 14 I've Clean, seen. Clean, bro. Clean. That wasn't even a joint that I wanted to talk about. This one. Some I know everybody was going crazy when PJ Tucker put these on the court. Yep. I had them before him, though. <laughs> I just want to say, I know P.J. Tucker got a bankroll that can outdo me any day of the week, man. But, P.J., if you ever see this, bro, I had these before you. I just want you that. to know that, that, man. But everybody going to say he put them on foot already, which he did. I got them because they OVOs. I didn't really get them because I'm, like, that hard over a, a Jordan 16 silhouette right. like that. But, you know, anything OVO, I got to collect. But again, like you were saying, these don't yeah. scream OVO. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to take out the insoles and things like that to really, you know, the, see those that they like OVOs. You would find them at the Nike outlets. Facts. At the basketball shoes. Facts, bro. Facts. This looks so much better with and this thing on. And I've never seen the you never seen the 14 no, I've never before? I've seen the 14. Yeah, these are God playing joints. OVO on the inside. And that's about it. That's it. That's, that's it. That's about it. That's it, bro. Yeah, I probably would have never bought that shoe. Man, bro, my, again, my man Sneaker Slash, he know I'm a huge Drake fan. Look, bro, I got your size. I'm like, all right, bro, send them. Knowing, knowing good and well, I probably would never put them on feet. But it's a Drake. It's an OVO. It's, you know, it's yep. one in the collection. And then down in the bottom looks like you got Travis Scott. Get some Travis's. I got the fours, the sixes. I got the ones up there. I noticed the ones up there, bro. You got... Basically, all the Travis Scotts? All the Travis Jordans. Jordans. Except, you know, the, the $20,000 perp. Well, they, they were $20,000 when I seen them, what, three years ago. Right. 
Like, my boys, they got them. You know what I'm saying? I can get a 10 and a half in a purple and in a mocha colorway, bro, but that's smacking 50K, you know, right now. So it could be done. I feel like it needs to be done because they 50K this year. Next year, they may be 75. So it's just one of those, once you drop that bread, man, you just need to sit in a dark room and be like, bro, what is life? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know we only get one of these. Yep. I know we are sneaker heads. But it's always like, man, bro, like, like I was telling y'all in the kitchen, man, like when, when I first spent my first $10,000 on a pair of shoes, I was just like, bro, like, yeah. Sick to me your looking at myself, like, uh, that's a 99 what, like, Pacific. Like, like, like <laughs> man, like my uh, Corday came out, man, when he, when he did a little shopping, he like, man, nah, I don't need them, bro. I can buy a little car with them yeah. joints, man. But it's, it's just the love for it, man. It's the love for it. A lot of people call me crazy. Knowing how much money I spent on these sneakers, but you know I'm good though. I'm good. My family good. As long as we good, look, I feel like I should be able to buy whatever I want. I worked hard for this. This yep. didn't come overnight. Right, and that's a story that most people don't realize. Right, they see where you're at now, and they didn't see all the grinding you did Bro. to get to where you're at today. The the hustling on YouTube, whatever else you had to do, the connections you had to make, the relationships you had to build this did not to be happen able overnight. to just get a collection like this. It's not like you just have fifty grand or a hundred thousand dollars. To just spend like right off the rip. Bro. You got it out the mud, like you said. Bro. So mama, that's a story. mama ain't leave me a hundred million up in the in the bank. You know, my pops wasn't, you know what I'm saying? MJ on the court, right. like all this, bro. Like I literally got all this out the mud, bro. Yep. So I take pride in this. I take pride in my collection. I love every it, sneaker in here I pay for myself. Which is wild. It's it's crazy. And the tier the tier selection, like you said, like you didn't come from a bunch of money, and I'm sure a lot of people didn't that are able to get mm -hmm. to this point, right? And I'm sure there's a lot of people who did come from money, probably don't even have half of the stuff in here, right? Just because yeah. of the relationships they haven't built like you were able to do. Thanks. So money can't buy you everything, but damn. You can buy you some OVOs, you though, if you know the right people, though. <laughs> <But> damn. <laughs> All right, yes, let's, let's keep it moving on to the fours on that side. All right, man. Well, first, we got some down here as well. We got the union, the union set. Yep. Oh, man. I don't know how we forgot about my man Khaled. We got some. We got the whole well, let's uh, go Jordan back. 3. Let's go back. We, best. we skipped that whole thing. Yeah, we got the let's... Khaled's over here. The red pair. The, this pair is the first there. joints. The We the Best. Um, We got the Father of Assad's. And I want to say the other ones was called like another one. So the Sway joints. Sway joints was hands down my favorite. It's got that Eminem vibe too. Hundred percent, bro. Like the Khaled's, and again, joints go on feet. You know, special times the joints go on feet, man. But the red pair is the red pair is so iconic because that was his first. These two were decent as well. I didn't even know it had anything behind that, bro. Still in the meeting. I we the promise best. you. I promise you. I never even checked that, bro. I never with even all, checked with to all see this if. Stuff, still in the meeting. We grateful. the best and Look, grateful. This one say what. Major key, bless up, and something else. But I never check behind here, wow. bro. Talk That's, cool dope. That's dope. That's dope. You, you learn something new every you day, man. Had y'all not came in here, bro, <laughs> yeah. I'd have never known. Somebody yep. could have asked me, for a million dollars, what does it say behind that shoe? And I'd be like, ain't, it don't say nothing. We the best. Throw it. <laughs> Another one. Major key alert. <laughs> I would have never known, man. Still but meeting. Of course, we know Khaled planning on. This is Blue 3M, right? Uh, Yes. Yes, it is. That's sick. I nice. want to say, Callie said we we're getting a retail release of whatever Jordans. He said it has an S on the end. So, you know, expect some Jordans. Callie's probably going to be a two collab since we're getting heavy with the two collabs. But like I said, we do got the Union 4s down there. Um, I love my Retro 4s. I love 3s over 4s. But, of course, you know, OG over everything, man. We got the Fire Red 4s. We got the Breads. We got the Levi's. Y'all remember the Levi yep. collection? Got the white Levi's. Got the black Levi's and the blue pair is down here as well. We got the Call Force, great pair, phenomenal. Got the black, some OGs like the Columbia's, more OGs. But before I get too out of hand, man, when I say this is probably the only shoe that I literally, literally was spending hours on eBay just trying to figure out the small details because. This shoe was highly replicated. Major. This was what, 2000, 2012. These dropped November 2012. And I was just kind of like getting into sneakers, man. I started collecting like the actual retros in 2010, bro. Look, I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it a buck. 
Before retro, I was rocking spin hikes, dub zeros, flight 45s. Like, and there's nothing I didn't wrong come, with those, there's though. Nothing there's nothing wrong with, with six rings. I didn't come in the game rocking retros. I had to build my way up. Right. And in 2012, when I seen these, I was thinking, man, these going to drop at Foot Locker. Yep, I'm going to yep. be able to grab these, you know what I'm saying, at a, at a Champs or whatever. Of course, Nike only. But it was the details as far as, like, where his eyebrow had a slit at. The way his afro went, the arrows on the toe box. Mm-hmm. Make sure the Superman go all the way across the tongue, bro. It was all those details I had to pay attention, man. And I got these in 20... My daughter was born in 2015. I got this pair in 2014, and I still paid over grand for these. These right now is up there. Yep. Like 2500 plus. And that may be on the low end on the Air Jordan 4 DBs. Only reason these aren't worn is because it's a 10 and a half and fours. I really need a size 11. I know you're a 10 and a half. <laughs> an 11. <laughs> oh, but I can go down to 10 and a half if we need to. I just to. know my feet will be killing me. So until I get that size 11, these will stay on ice, man. But out of all of the Dornbeckers that ever dropped, that Retro 4 is hands down the best in my opinion. You basically got all the best Jordan 4 colorways, bro. Jordan 4 is my favorite uh, uh-huh. retro. So you got the Fires, yep. the Preds, yep. all the Cause, all the Levi's. White cements. Those are all the shoes that I need in my collection. You got some of the more, some more LS stuff, like we talked about. Tours. The tours. These from 06. Yes, sir. I got the 06 Lightnings as well. I beat them to the ground. Those out in the other room. That is the newer pair right there. Don't forget, we got the thunders down there, man. You got the lasers. Got some lasers. You got the black version too. Come on now, bro. Like I say, man, you can't have <laughs> one without having the other. That black pair is definitely somewhere, bro. It's there. It's, it, it, it's somewhere in here, man. I, I know I still got them down here, very bottom, maybe. Okay. No, these are black cats. Those are black. Where my lasers at, bro? Oh, oh. What my black laser for? I promise there, you, man. I didn't take them. Damn, they bro. are in here. I know they are in here. Somewhere, I don't. I don't bro. see them, dude. Here they are. I'm about to say, man. Right I'm about to face. say, where are my black uh, laser for? Now, again, you, you customize shoes and, and you restore shoes. That's right. Not war- not These aren't wearable at this point. Nah, man. This man's one, ready to crumble. One, yeah, one wear is over with. It's a good shoe, though. Yeah, it's a super dope shoe. We were lucky enough to see the sample pair of that, too, which was, like, just the small details of, like, the leather was, mm-hmm. like, really better. They had a blue pair, too, bro. Yeah. Like, I seen it on, um, on the guy we were talking about, his channel. He had it. A blue pair of those. I think the perfect pair had one with the white mitts on the bottom, yeah, right? That's so. crazy. Yeah, yeah, so that's sick. Bro, this is insane. Yeah, nah, Your those, collection's those. crazy. The only laser fours that they dropped that I wasn't a fan of was the white ones for the, uh, was it the, the, with, with, the with the clear sole, bro? Those are whack. Man, bro, and, and the clear sole was so sticky, bro. I'm like, bro, what is up with these? That man? was a so whack shoe. I, I, didn't, I didn't keep those at all, man. One of my most recent pickups was this pack right here, man. The Metallics. Man, and again, shout out to my boy Sneaker Sluts. He literally sent me this whole pack on, on the house, bro. Wow. And again, that's why I say, man, when it comes to networking, it's everything. You scratch my back, I scratch your back, bro. Like, every one of those I got from him, and he sent them to me on the house. And he sent me a couple a couple pairs on the house just for showing love, man. Yeah. You know, talk about his website or, you know, send him good business, man. And he... He showed that love back. I literally got those yesterday. These are clean, brand new. Once yeah. they get used, bro, they're not the same. They're not but the, the crazy thing is, bro, like, I know this was a region specific. The red was a region specific. And the, um, which ones didn't drop here? The I want to say the red and the green may have been region specific. Um, but the purples, the purples, I know for a fact, drop here. And they were sitting. They were sitting. This is pre-COVID. They were sitting, or right around the time COVID was about to start picking up. Yeah, that's like a four or five hundred dollar shoe right now, man. I and they were they were sitting on champs all day. Now you all day. Re- region specific. Now you talking Pokemon Go? All <laughs> right. We can't get this mine unless you in <laughs> Southeast Asia. <laughs> right. But no. Nah, but I think maybe it was only the red pair because I want to say my boy Scrunch was able to get the green pair downtown Chicago. So the green and orange pair definitely dropped. In uh in in the states as well. The green and orange pairs were inside of my. Yeah, those opinion. are nice, bro. And again, you don't see those every day. You don't see those every in day. clean condition. No, you don't. Did come you on now, see? come on now. When when you got a shoeinator, bro, all your shoes should be clean. I tell people after everywhere, man, make sure you are cleaning your shoes after everywhere, and they you know they look dead stop. That's it. Well, let's go up for the top one up there, bro, because we Ooh, see the military it. blues right here, right? Yep. Which, that was my very first pair of, uh, like, Jordans that I was able to buy with word. my own money. Back in 2012, I remember I camped yep. out for this thing. I camped out for those right? as well. Camped out for this. 
2012 was a crazy year, bro. For fours. For Don't fours, forget. because the Fire Reds dropped that year, yep. too. And the Breads. The Breads. The Breads was a Black Friday then, release. Bro, you got these up here, which we're going we gonna to show them both. I can't even reach them. I'm, I'm not even going to attempt them. I'm going to let Man, you I got, get inside them. I got you, them. bro. I got you. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. I mean, it's, it's the same shoe, right? Hear that. It's the same shoe. Not quite, though. Same shoe, man. Quite now, you know what, bro? Somebody brought to my attention that it's another version of that with a black tongue. Really? With a black um, with a black tongue. And, and from what I was told, that black tongue may be a tad bit more limited. I've never seen a black pair, and I honestly need to just do my research on it just to make sure that that pair with the black tongue is legit. All right, y'all. I know Retro 4s was y'all favorite. I got a lot of 5s. I'm not the biggest 5 fan, but a couple 5s that definitely stand out to me is, of course, the Air Jordan 5 DBs, yep. bro. Like I said, that DB 3, 4, 5, and 6, and the 7s is just, bro, just the best, man. Those were those are hands down the best, man. It's probably and my favorite DB. Of those all right of there? Yeah, because they go in the dark. I'm a sucker for going in the dark. Let's not forget the new Air Jordan 5 DB lows that dropped this year as well. Of course, got to add all of the DBs to the collection. So these were a must cop. Man, bro. But just when it comes to quality, the Ben collection was hands down the best with the Air Jordan 2 Bens. Yep. We got the Retro 5 Bens right there. And like a, a pair of Bens, if you own a pair of Bens, that smell is still there. And it smells like a luxury car, bro. Like the Benz smell like a brand new Cadillac, bro. Like for real, for real. Do you think we'll ever come back to the Benz? Because we never, never, we never that, completed the full like one through. That is a shoe that you should just leave alone because but, we will not get the same quality. Who knows though? I mean, we didn't get the same quality back then when they dropped these, bro. Leave it alone. I'm, I'm all for you know retro and bringing some Ben fours. <laughs> if they do it like this, I'm here for it, bro. But this is a timeless era. Yeah. This is timeless. We we will not get a time like this again. I agree with that. But the thing is, like, during the time they dropped these, the shoes they were putting out as well were not they're that They're not like that. Exactly. So they can still do it, in my opinion, if they decide to bring back the whole Ben stuff. Only way stuff will go like that, bro, is if you threw Travis Scott's name on it, bro. That's the thing. A little that's, fragment That's it, somewhere. man. Like, like the time is the time of hype is all about whose name is behind the sneaker now, bro. That. Like, this don't have a name. Like, we don't even know what Ben stands for. But... We know what the bins are, bro. It's just a, it's a different era Jordan 5, but like now it got to have a Travis Scott behind it, an OVO or something for Supreme people to really something. Supreme for people to really get mad excited about. I understand where you're coming from, for sure. Another dope one, man. The Shanghai's. Shanghai's, bro. Shanghai's are beautiful, man. It's to me it's just the reverse of these. I remember these, Just bro. a black pair of these right here, the Laney's. I like this shoe. Laney's? Yeah, yeah Laney's are like dope, bro. And Laney's were part of that whole remaster vibe that Jordan Brand tried to give us in like 2014, 2013 when they came out like the Columbia 4s, the Oreo 4s, like that leather that they gave us then was nice on them, man. But like I say, man, we don't get we don't get the same stuff that we that we got back then. Now I have a question for you, bro. So Talk to like me. we started off this video with like bangers on top of bangers. Yeah. Over here we got bangers, but a lot of this stuff's on the GR side. Mm -hmm. Is this stuff they can easily move? Let's say somebody comes to you with a pair of shoes that you They're really gone, want. Bro. They're gone instantly. They're gone. If they haven't been worn, but I, I give I give certain shoes an expiration date. Like, say, for instance, like, I'm still a sucker. Like, the Laney's not an OG OG, yep. but it's still one of those 2000s. You know, the OG Laney's came out 2000. So, same with, like, the Columbia and the Oreo. They're not OG, but it's that nostalgia. So, some of these I won't let go for the most part, bro. Like... I still got a lot of shoes, but all the pieces that I feel like were just like I can just move are gone. Now it'll be tough for me to be like, let me get rid of this, some stuff now because I feel like I done already then condensed to the point where it's, it's hard for me to decide. 100%, I get you. Yep, but moving on to the sixes, one of my favorite, bro. Motorsports. Mot oh, man. Motorsports sixes, bro. And these are so... These are so dope, and the leather was so good on these, bro. I've I worn these so many times, and you can barely even really tell, bro. The leather was soft on those like a Lil Wayne song, man. Yours are in good condition and, as and well. And they're still in good condition, bro. A lot of these have a lot of yellowing, specifically on the heel tab, the uh, this tongue, and some areas on the leather. Yeah. You got a good one. And these these retailed, these was up there in price. Like, when the Motorsports came out, they wasn't like a 140 150 That was a premium pair of Air Jordan 6s that dropped, man. 
another one that's just dope that we need back, man. The Olympics. Olympic sixes are another one of just some classic Air Jordan. This was part of the 2012 drop. And John, like we said with the fours, man, like 2012, 2013, 2014, they had some heat that they dropped, man. They dropped a lot of heat then, bro, that for some reason we just not getting nowadays, man. Now, since we in the sixes. What are these called again? I, f I remember these when they dropped. Slam Dunk. That's right. That was my 100th pair in my collection at the time. Yeah. So I had 99 right. shoes. And you keep track And that made 100, bro. Yeah. And um, this was this was this was like when those first came out years ago. How many shoes do you have in the collection at this Collection moment? currently, man, I don't know, man, maybe 400, 400 in maybe. just this room. In just this room, yeah. Maybe 400. I can end off the sixes talking about the Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navies, man. Y'all know I've been wanting these joints for forever and add them to the vault and they still sitting, yo. Grab these joints if you really want them, man. This is a clean, classic Air Jordan 6 right here. The Jordan 7 bins, man, with the head, bro, the shoe trees that came in bins, bro. Like, Quality. you can literally knock somebody out with those, man. I remember when I first started getting bins, people were selling the inserts on eBay alone for 150 bucks, bro. Yeah, the dust bag. And, and it came with the dust bag, and it came with the brown boxes, and all of the bins are numbered as well. I want to say the 13s may have the least made, the retro 13 bins. You got hella stuff, man. You got hella sevens, bro. Do you like sevens? Sevens is my favorite silhouette. Really? Yeah, sevens is my yeah, favorite. Yeah, you got for the, love of the, for the love of game. For the love of the game, it's beautiful. The whole set was beautiful, man. Citrus, Raptors. And these are coming back out this year. That's right. The retro are those seven the 07s or 06? Yep, these are OGs. Nice. These are OGs. I like that shoe a lot. Yeah, man. It's a, it's a fire, fire shoe, man. Yeah, I knew you was gonna go for those, bro. I remember these, bro. You got. <laughs> I you, knew you was gonna go for those, man. This is sick. Beautiful, bro. I remember these. Lace pack itself go for about like five hundred. What do these? Think I've seen the lace pack. What do these yeah. go for nowadays? Because these go for a lot back then. Ah, uh, Miro's is probably like twenty five hundred. This is a cool shoe, bro. About twenty five hundred. I actually wore these um, when I proposed to my wife. No shit. Yep, I wore those when I proposed to my wife, man. This is dope. I, I've never even seen this. Yeah, people forget now, about this Mir shit. The Miro's are, are clean, man. I was talking to Johnny about this pack right here, bro. You got one, and then you got the other, man. The I J2Ks, love this shit. bro. I, don't know why I love this man. shoe so much, man. Them I'm J2Ks are gorgeous, bro. You say you're not a fan of those? I'm not a fan. Beautiful, man. Beautiful pair of Air Jordan. Maybe I like this color more, but it's not that. Yeah, the rabbits. But also you got sir. the hairs. Those are sick. You got the year the rabbits as what well. What is this? 20, 20, 12, 11? About 2011. Yep. 2011. Man, uh, some of these shoes. I don't, shoes, don't man. like the J2Ks. Though. Some of these, man, some of these are 10 years old, bro. Cool concept. Not J2Ks are gorgeous, man. Ooh. Good catch. Ooh. Good catch. You're not going to be that guy, bro. <laughs> Good catch. I'll let Johnny be that guy. Good catch, man. So we got the Retro 8s, and I literally only have five pairs of Retro 8s. A lot of people. And that's with the DBs, the DB8s. The db is probably one of the best Jordan 8 colorways. DB8s, man, this is, these right here are hands down my favorite pair of retro 8s. The Air Jordan 8, if I can get them down. Just the playoffs? Playoffs, man. The playoff 8s, bro. But I need the playoff 8s with the red pull tab. I need OG. I need OG. Jordan Brand don't show the retro ace any like the kind of 93 love, 93 version bro. has the red back tab, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I need that red pull tab on the back, man. To me, the playoff eight is the best retro eight, hands down. The aqua eights are my favorite. Really? Bro. What, how, how, did, how did you feel about the 2015 pair? I got, I got a pair. Uh, I don't think they're bad. At first, when they first dropped, they don't like them. I really like the 07 retro. I love the 07 pair. But the 07 retro, you just can't really wear, wear them anymore. They're falling apart and yep. stuff. So I wore them out once, and they started to, uh, and they cracked out the one wear. Exactly. The 2015s yep. are cool. I wish they weren't they had as glitter. hard as the metallic, yep. the glitter, glittery stuff on the midsoles, yep. but they're still cool with me. It's the only Jordan 8 I have. It's the only one I need, honestly. Y'all don't sleep on them Rui 8s. Them Rui 8s smack as well. Again, another shoe that wasn't in the video, but was added to the vault, man. Rui 8s, as of right now, is in my top 10 so far for this year. Wanna you do got some Jordan 9s. This is a beautiful shoe, man. Those joints are beautiful. Similar to the, uh, similar to the uh, DBs right here. This is one of those shoes where I don't even know how I would repaint that if the gold started cracking yep. off. 
Like there is no pain. And, that's and flexible. crazy thing, after one wear, it started to uh, see crack. Yeah, yeah, after one wear, bro, I'm like Jesus. This is like a cool display piece, but I can see this gold just completely shattering off after yeah. a couple wears. But this upper though, Air Jordan Nine DBs, another beautiful shoe, man. A lot of people was rocking with these DB9s when these joints first, first came out. And to a lot of people, these are still one of their favorites. But one of my favorite retro nines in my collection, of course, the those bands. joints right there, bro. Them big nines, man. That's a whole nother level of just... It's a stand for me, too, fire, bro. Fire, bro. The whole Ben collection. That's why I say, like, just leave it alone. If you're not going to do it right... Just leave it alone, man, because I don't want them to put out the product and then it's not like this and then people just, like, they excited about something that ain't this. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Like, if it, if they will retro it and it is like this, I'm all I'm all for it. But don't give us nothing that's not going to represent how the bins did back in the day. So what do they do? How many bins is there? There's a bin 13, You got the, bin the twos, you got the fives. Sevens, nines, and thirteen. What was the last one that they dropped, and they just kind of dropped it after the that? Thir I'm assuming that it's the thirteen. The thirteen was the last one. Yep. It's interesting. I wonder why they just kind of did those I wonder, numbers. Yeah, I wonder why they picked those specific numbers and didn't continue with the other ones. Like the threes and fours, like probably the two of the best retros ever created. But why probably not? at that time they were putting out a lot of threes and threes and fours at Good that point. time. So they want to highlight some sneakers that wasn't getting a lot of love. Probably as far as nines go, bro. My favorite ones are the uh, ones that MJ wore in the Space Jam movie, the classic mm -hmm. black and white ones. Yeah, that's my favorite OG nine as well. That's all you need, in my Clean. opinion. Clean, Clean. classic. Feel like MJ on the court and Space Jam. I just Jam don't movie. like when people call those the Space Jam Nines. Like, I know. I didn't want to call them. Please what, don't. Please what's don't the proper do that. name for these? Because I only know I the just colorway. Call them the Chicago's, the Jordan Nine OGs, or the Chicago. Because these only have the colorway name, but doesn't mm -hmm. really specifically have a nickname. And I hate good. when people call them Space Jam. I too. hate when people call them They're the Space, not Space Jam. Jam I'm like, 11s. bro, those are not Space Jams, man. Those are just the OG Nines. You got hella Nines, and you got tens too, bro. I got tens in here as well, man. You got a decent amount of tens, OG Shadows. From the, you know, One of my favorite is all the way at the top, though. The Air Jordan 10 Lennons. Right yeah. there. Oh, up there. Yeah. Was that 05 release? I want to say, yep. yep. I had the cherries, bro, but again, those was in a point where I'm like, man, if I wear them once, it's over with. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So why not older. get rid of them? Dude, one thing I like about your collection now is that you respect the older stuff and you yeah, have it in your collection, to, you know, bro. even if you don't wear it, that stuff is classic. That was the fire, man. Like a lot of the stuff we get now is either we've seen it before or it's just like, a, like they still haven't retro the linens. And like, at the time, they were new colorways. Yeah, they were, they were messing with new colorways. Time, so we yep. only ever had the original Chicago colorways and stuff, black, red, and white, but we started tapping into like the do the right thing, blue and yellow. And even the soul flies right above those, man. They, they, they kind of they exactly. have... They kind of have like a linen vibe to it. It ain't the linens, but they kind of got that vibe to exactly. it, man. Exactly, and that era is when we started getting new colorways yep. and stuff, and we're finally starting to see that stuff retro again. Facts. So that's dope, man. So that's it for the team. All right, I mean, Air Jordan 11s, bro, like everybody's favorite. If we were to take a poll right now, probably 70% of people going to say Air Jordan 11 is their favorite. Just know I got all of the, all of the OG highs, Tried to get some of the newer joints, man. I got the 09 Space Jams on feet with the Royal Blue uh, Jumpman. Hands down, my favorite Retro 11. But I know you said you was eyeing a pair of Retro 11s. Which ones are you talking DMP about? The DMP 11s down there, man. The DMP. I see a little pamphlet. Yep. The, the packaging, pack, right? bro. Even just the packaging that the DMPs came in, bro, was phenomenal, the bro. of these are phenomenal, phenomenal too. Phenomenal, bro. The soles, the soles are overall the icy. Black. Phenomenal, bro. Pods are fire. The black pods, the gold jaw, man. Man, just... Even uh, the whole package that it came with. That was, was the a, 60s as well, yeah. In my opinion, it's still my favorite package of all 100%, time. 100%, bro. When was that? Was that 04? That was 08. 08. That was 08, yep. Interesting. Did you, I'm sure you know about these, but for those of you that don't know, the, the uh, sample. The, yep, the sample had Jordan going uh, going up the eyelids. And those made it to a uh, Nike outlets or something, Nike factories, and only a handful. Only a handful. If you have that pair, that's almost as rare as having... These with the jump man on that's it. That's right. It's almost as rare as having these with the jump man on it, bro. Like people who have those, those are the people that I'm trying to get in their collection to be able to see some stuff like that, man. But yeah, it's a lot of like outlet specials and things like that that a lot of people don't know are just like mad rare exactly. when it comes to retro 11s. This is a beautiful shoe, bro. It's beautiful, that stock. Man. It's one of my favorites. 
So I know you said 70% plus love 11s. Well, I'm going to be the other percent that's not a big fan of 11s, right? right? I don't know why. Maybe it's just because one foot's wide on my foot. Feet, uh -huh. And I don't like the way 11s look. But moving on from that, I mean, you have the 12s. And 12s you have looking the good. Everybody wants the cherries, bro. Hopefully we get the cherries sometime soon, man. I'll take but... a pair of flu games. But 13s, these right here. History of flight joints. Those are sick. I love simple color blocking like that where it's just all white and the color, all black and the color. I love those. Then these, the I remember tools. before these came out. These are the re-release, right? Yep, yep. Those are the newer joints. They got the ones with the mesh on it and then the original ones was, I want to say 2005. Yep. Leather one was 2005. They came out with the mesh ones maybe 2010, 2011. Or, or oh nine, one one of the two, and then this again is one of the newer releases right here. Yeah, that's a nice shoe right here. Love these as well, man. The Ray Allen Thirteens, yeah. bro. Ray Allen Thirteens. These actually came with a T-shirt. Interesting. They came with a T-shirt. I bought the shoes and a T-shirt desktop. This was two thousand and fifteen. I wind up selling the shirt in twenty fifteen for one hundred forty bucks. I guarantee you that shirt is probably like five six hundred dollars right now. Cause everybody's into vintage now, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that was six years ago. I sold the shirt for 140. I can just imagine what it's going for right now. But retro 13s, I love them, man. One of the more comfortable Air Jordans to put on feet, man. And most people have already seen it. If not, y'all may have not seen like the wheats or the neutral grays right here. More of that 2005 vibes. That's a 2005. Yeah, I want to say this like 0405. Yeah, dude, that's a clean shoe. Yep, about 0405, man. Yeah, you've kept it in great condition. Got to keep them clean, bro. Got to keep them clean. Real yeah. quick, before we go to the 14, we got the Chris Paul joints. CP. But these will be dropping again this year. Um, they calling them the UNC 13s, but they won't have the CP3. The CP3 and like the yellow highlights, highlights on them as well. Here's that shoe. And then, man. On to the 14s. On to the 14s. We, I know you had a pair of uh, Drake 16s. Do you have any 15s in the collection? Uh, I don't think Drake had any 15s. Not Drake 15s. But, but just like 15s, 15s in and general. I did. I had some, but I knew I wasn't going to wear them, so I wind up getting rid of them. I, I'm sorry. DB. Let me step out the We way. have the Air Jordan 15 Dorn oh, Beckers okay, down see, there, bro. I do. I do. Just one and only pair is the Air Jordan 15 Dorn Beckers down there, man. This is a beautiful shoe, bro. Those could have been like a DMP 15, 100%, bro, as far as like the colorway. You know what I'm that. saying? That black and gold. That Those those are not half bad. I don't hate 15s. I don't have a pair of 15s, but I don't hate them. Same. Between, between this pair and the red and black ones, yep. those are the only 15s I probably wear. Nah, I had 18s, some 19s, bro, but it was just like, at one point I was like, I want to have 1 through 23. And then I'm just like, I'm not going to rock them joints. You know yep. what I'm saying? Because I had the, the white and royal 18s, the black and royal 18s, and I just wind up getting rid of them. Now, this could definitely be an OVO, though. I was thinking so, that too. Yep, OVO match. print all over the uppers. Throw a little owl right here. Black and gold. This is sick. And like these kind of remind me of them Kubos. Do y'all remember the Kubo 15s, bro? Oh, yeah, I do. It was like one was red and one was, uh, one was blue because it kind of still had like the little skelly prints on them. But that's the 15s, and I only got one pair of 17s down there. That's the Soul Fly 17 uh, Low, oh, the lighting these are joints. Sick, those bro. are crazy, this bro. This is one of the sickest 17s out there. Those are crazy, man. I wore those. When I wore those one time, it was around. Those dropped around the All Star Weekend a few years ago as well. Beautiful shoe, bro. Beautiful shoe. Beautiful shoe. And as far as 14s go, I'm not the biggest fan of 14s, but I respect the OG colorways in the 14s, man. Like. Supremes. I mean, we got the Supremes. Supremes would have been cool if they ain't hit it with the whole bedazzle joint going on. Like, that colorway by itself would have been 100% fine. But like I said, they threw the bedazzleness on it. That kind of, you know, kind of threw it off a little bit to me. But I like this part of the shoe. It's still, we it's just know, that right there. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> and then the rest of the shit gets yeah, kind of Take away all that bedazzleness, man. But, you know, a lot of people rock with these right here. The Ferrari 14s, which is cool, man. But like I said, man, I'm OG, man. Just give me, like, the last shots. Give me the cherries. Give me the black toes, and I'm good to go from there. Black and blue ones are a bit cleaner. The blue yeah. pops. Yeah. And you got ladies up there. What are those on top? Cherries? No, those up top are the Air Jordan 14 linens. Those were a women's exclusive. Oh. Another beautiful pair of Air Jordan 14s as well, man. So... I mean, that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it, y'all. And 
came in here, raided the closet, raided the vault, man. So how y'all feel about the vault, man? No, it's crazy. Now, one thing I did have a question about Talk is to me. it's all Jordans in here. Is that all you rock? That is my specialty. Yep. How about, I mean, in, in a cut over there, you got a couple Yeezy boosts over yep, there yep. in the cut, man. Shout out to Many Worlds. Came out to Many Worlds uh, last last June, mm -hmm. and I bought the entire original 350 collection, man. So I put them on feet here and there, man, but they not showcased. They not the GOAT. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. The GOAT got to get showcased. So. Well, man, I was blown away by the amount of stuff you have here. Your collection is insane. To Appreciate see it, bro. everything it's in awesome. person, to hear how you started from just, you know, Hustling your way up out the mud to being able to buy my year's salary on a whole pack of <laughs> Legend of Summer pack. You know what I mean? This is yeah. crazy, man. But, like, we really appreciate you giving us the time Love. out here and showing us the entire collection. I mean, Vic. 100%, man. A lot of these shoes I haven't seen in person. So, to be yeah. able to touch them, look at the small details, like those uh, with the best Jordan 3s, th yeah. uh, like, the smallest details. And like I that. said, I didn't even know it had anything behind it, bro. So, exactly. you know, I learned something from that. So, those are the details that I love to look at in person. Even the materials, like some of the the PEs, the Stingray, yeah. all those materials. Like, those inspire me for my custom and stuff to grab some of those materials and do something cool with it. Um, but yeah, man, this was a treat. This was really, really cool I to check out in you person, fellas. bro. This I was awesome. You fellas. Yeah, well, break. Let them know where they can follow you if they're not already following you. Man, y'all can find me on Instagram at Unbreakable Kicks, YouTube at Unbreakable Kicks. If you guys want more of a detailed look at the vault, I do have a full collection video up. A lot of new stuff has been added. So again, shout out to the Rejuvenated Team, lucky. man. We got lucky. Shout out to Vic. Shout out to Johnny, man, for coming in and y'all getting an update look, man. Even the Army ain't seen an update look, so y'all getting it first over here on Rejuvenator. That's Hell it. Yeah. We give it to you guys first. Well, we appreciate you being a part of the Rejuvenation family. Love, we appreciate bro. you, man. You've been rocking with us Thanks, for a bro. bunch of years. Appreciate you, man. That's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe, subscribe button. Subscribe, man. And subscribe. if you like today's video and you want to see more of these sneaker collections, hit that like button. I'm Johnny Bubbles. Thank you, Mighty. I'm Unbreakable Kicks. And we'll see you guys next time. We out. Peace. I hit Unbreakable for the uses. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get amusing. He was old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.